What's up, genders? The Madman Army here, and welcome to the 55th episode of my Minecraft Survival Let's Play. In between episodes, I've done absolutely nothing, as per usual. And what do I want to do this episode? Well, I want to get this design, the design done, at least the design done on the witch farm perimeter. And maybe do the witch farm, or maybe save the witch farm for next episode. We'll see if I'm brain dead by the time it's designed, alright? You got that? Shut up. First step, I think I want to get rid of this platform, finally, after it being here forever. Because I really want to see what the what the the hole looks like without anything on top of it of course i'm gonna have to leave this um outside one on though because well i just do but let's let's get into our first neural all right okay shut up now look at me go an hour and 40 minutes later not bad we can get a good old fancy view of this stupid hole now well, we look at that. <laughs> wow, looks so cool. I don't know how. How am I meant to react? That's a hole. It's a hole. I've done it. I did that. That was me. Moving on. The, the next step is I need to figure out what block I need to dig the wall to. So this is how big I want the perimeter to be. But I don't know if I dig the block inwards one or I dig right below this block down to bedrock. You know what? I'll just I'll figure that out now. Okay, it's the one block inwards I need to dig. I figured it out. I went to the very center and went 128 blocks. This is the 128th block and this is just the ring around it. Okay. Well... Now what, what I need to do is dig every single block inside of this big ring down to bedrock. Okay. This is definitely going to take longer than an hour and a half. I think I'm going to have to place three beacons per wall. Actually, no. Okay. Okay. I only need to place eight beacons all up, I think. That's fine. That's easy. Easy. Let's... Second neural. Second neural. Let's go. Let's get her done. It's about seven hours, seven and a half hours later, and it's completely flat. It just doesn't look like I've blown the entire area. It more looks like I've, I've taken a chunk out of the earth, and that's what I'm going for. It's done. Well, it's not done. I got two more steps to go, and then the chunk out of the earth is done, but okay. Oh, yeah, I saved all the blocks as well up to here. All these chests on the left are full of stuff. Yeah, you know, the usual. Anyways, next step is... Oh, pff, what the heck? Next step is we're not actually done digging the hole. We have to do the final layer on the bottom here. Just down to one more layer. Yes, that's all I gotta do. Break one layer. Third neural... Activate. Now, digging the floor. So, that took two hours and six minutes just to do one layer. What what Y level is this? So, 126 times 64. That's 8,064 divided by 60. And it would have taken me 134 hours to dig this hole if I dug every layer at that same rate, which was as fast as I could. So, my point is, this project only took 89 hours my way. So, what I'm trying to say is I'm better than everybody who thinks they're smarter than me. Yeah, kaboom is faster, okay? Deal with it. Okay, who cares that I am better than everybody? It's time for the next step. What I have to do is I have to get a bunch of sand, smelt it to glass, and do an entire layer of glass on top of this so mobs don't spawn on it exactly like they are now. Now, the method I'm going to be using to get the glass, not proud of. I've given in. I have given in. People just want more of me. I need to get videos out faster, so I'm allowing... TNT and sand duping. Now, <clears throat> time to go build a stupid sand duper. Shame, Nero. Shame, Nero. There is a positive side to this. I failed to build the farm at my regular end portal, obviously, because I'm so dumb. And I kind of ruined the end portal frame so I couldn't do the farm at all then. But the good side is, see my base right over there? I flew this way a little bit and we should meet up 
with a new portal that I found somewhere around here. I dug a hole down to it. It's right somewhere here. Does anyone see a hole? There it is. Okay. It's right there. It's right next to my stonks area too. I'm probably going to build a cool little design going down all the way down the hole. But for now, let me fly down. Try not go through the portal. Sweet. So here it is. Here's the sand zuba. I know, I know. I'm ashamed of myself too. Let's turn it on and give it a, a good old whirl, you yeah, hey? Hey? Alright, it's working. Let me go into the end. I hate this. I hate this so much. <laughs> I'm duping sand. Oh, man. Oh, I built a little storage system and everything. I've AFK'd it a little bit already. I got a bunch of sand. But what a- oh man, I've gone against everything I believe in. Well, now I need to get 38 shulker boxes full of sand. Time to AFK. I got all the shulker boxes and I freaking smelted all of it. It took like overnight. I had to do it overnight. I think I'm gonna have to build a, a way better furnace array soon. Maybe within the next three or four episodes. I'll have to do a bone meal farm. Then I'll have to do a bamboo farm to supply the smelting stuff. And then... And then I can do it. But anyways, I'm going to go place this glass on the bottom layer of the perimeter. Yeah! Okay, that's too much. Way too much. Just... Meow. What the hell? I was just trying to fly down here so I can sleep. So it can look better for the recording. <laughs> what? What the heck? How did I die from that? Oh no, now I gotta get one of the totems of undying out. Anyways, I built this little platform up here just so I can see what it looks like without the glass. Because for some reason when you go too far away, glass unrenders. See, I zoom in here. Yeah, okay, hello. But it, I've literally just taken a chunk out of the world. It's gone. I stand in the middle there. Nothing can spawn. I will be mobless. There will be no mobs in the world. Besides the ones that I've name tagged, which is one endermite and one zomb- No, I destroyed the iron farm. Just one endermite slave. Oh, well. Here's a better look at what it looks like with glass. I made a massive mistake. See, this took five hours and a half. It could have take, taken 10 minutes and look a lot better. Because you know why? I could have just used water. Like, instead of filling in every single block, I could have done one line from that corner to that corner of ice blocks, broken the ice, and it would have tsunamied across the entire floor. But did I do that? No. I, I, I took the heart around. Oh, yeah. You know me. I'm just, uh... Anyways, off of me being an idiot, if you haven't noticed already, this is the design. I'm not going to do anything big. I have reasons. Because I only really want to put maximum effort into farms, like, around my base. Just ones that are 8,000 blocks away like this. I'll just do stuff like this too, because honestly, after I build the farm, you're probably ever only going to see this once every 30 or 40 videos. It, it doesn't, I don't really see a point in it. And I don't think viewers really care about this stuff if you're never going to see it. So, and you know what? I don't care. Shut up. I'm not decorating it. This is it. This is what you get. Deal with it. It's time to put a farm in it. All right. So this is where the farm will be located inside of the entire perimeter. And I AFK up, up there. But right now, okay, I have to do the the bottom layer. You know what that calls for. Neural. It's been a while since we've had a neural where I haven't done much in it. Neural. Um, now I have to find my pistons and place pistons on each side of this not on all four just each long side so there and there yeah i'm doing it i'm going Meow. it's nice little small calm near put all the 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 nice little pistons on it next step is this i have to uh do this on every single layer i just done the first one so you can see what it actually is so it's not all jumbled together but now it's gonna be jumbled together so let's build it And now I just have to repeat this two more times on top of each other. Except instead of putting the rails on just regular blocks now, I have to do this. There. Like that. Exactly like that. So, let's get to it. Boom, 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 boom. Here it is. Here's a little test on how it works. What happens is 
you jump in the holes. Well, they they spawn on top of these blocks, and then I'll, I'll imagine I'm spawning. Oh no, I've spawned. Oh no, I've spawned. <laughs> it didn't work then because I jumped in the middle of two blocks and that's how it works What I need to do now is I need to add some weird clock. I'm friggin copying it off of an ill mango video clock now Now I have no idea what this clock is for. Yeah, I have a uh, Absolutely no idea what this clock is for it powers these rails which go out here and power these rails for some reason? Why would they? I don't know. I have no idea why I want these ra rails powered. Oh well. Now I just got to do glass walls on the two long sides. I think the farm is actually done. All I need to do is put a roof on it and then do the storage system. Yeah, so the, the fellas, they spawn on these blocks. And die. I'm not gonna do the same killing chamber as him. I'm just gonna do a fall damage killing chamber instead of a entity cramming one because I feel like that'd be faster. And still, I have no idea what the purpose of this is to power these rails, but what are the rails being used for? Let's see, let's see. I turn it on, the rails get powered. Okay, the signal gets sent down here. Why? I'm gonna do the killing chamber. Yep, roof should be last step because that's when they all start spawning. Yes, killing chamber. Let's go. Now, kill them. All right, we're almost completed. We got the killing chamber. They fall down there and die on that block. Now all we need to do is the storage system and the roof. Now I'm thinking... Do I just want to build the storage system down on the floor here? I think I do. I think I think I'm correct. And why the hell is that block there? What the hell? All right. Yeah. So I think I'm just gonna fill the bottom layer of this with hoppers, leading into one dropper, and then it'll drop all the items down here into the storage system that'll be on the floor. All right. <laughs> We've got the plan sorted, boys. Let's get it execution. Time. Yeah. I finished the farm. It's working. See, witches are falling, but they're not falling as fast as you'd want them to. There's a reason for that. I kind of did something wrong. But let's let's look at what I did first. Oh yeah, look at this storage system. Wow. Oh wow, it's working. I've only AFK'd for five minutes, and it's not even the maximum efficiency it can go. So. These rates are good. Oh, I've already got some redstone. Oh, yeah, I also put the roof on just because I didn't want to drag the episode out. But here's the issue I had. Well, I did. Um, let me see if I can lodge myself in here. Yeah. Down there. I kind of, um... I didn't think they spawned on top of soul sand. So, I screwed it up. I have to re remove this and move the walls out one more block because I just didn't think they spawned on soul sand. It's not that hard, but it just takes time. Oh well. Wall breaking neural inbound. And it is completed. I AFK'd it for about 45 minutes or an hour and I didn't actually get every single drop. As you can see up there, I misplaced one glass and then, yeah, pretty much I'm an idiot. I lost a bunch of items. But other than that, I've gotten this much so far. Also, I only added in these four items. You can also get water bottles, sugar, and sticks. I don't really care about that. But if I did, it would be a lot more drops per hour. But since I don't really need and or want them whatsoever... I think I'm fine. Anyways, I think that's the good point to end it. Don't you also agree? I don't really care about what you think. Bye. <laughs>